With version 4.0 and the release of Fontaine just around the corner, we have a ton of upcoming new things such as a new main story, characters, weapons and gameplay mechanics. So let's dive in for just 5 minutes. Let's quickly go over the new banners first. As expected, we will get Linus 5 star banner together with his sister Lynette as well as a Yelan rerun in phase 1. Phase 2 will bring back our Chiyo Archon, Chongli and Child and the new 4 star cryo character from Inet will also be on these banners. So, Liney is actually a 5 star pyro bow user, his normal attack looks pretty cool, like he's throwing some cards at the enemy, Liney's burst turns him into the quick grin Malkin cat and it looks like that you just run towards the enemy and when the magic ends or you hit the enemy, it will set off with a big explosion that should be AoE pyro damage. Now, Lynette on the other hand seems to be something like a 4 star version of Yelan, Jean and other similar anima units. Her skill looks like the one from Yelan, so she kinda is similar in terms of she's dashing towards the enemy and will then apply the swirl. Although she's on the banner, we will actually get her for free after reaching adventure rank 25. And then we have Fremenet, his skill puts him into something like a timer mode where his attacks will do cryo and physical damage depending on where the timer is. And his burst, well, it looks weird. Now let's get into the new diving gameplay which was actually the biggest focus of the livestream. The good information first, there is no oxygen bar so as they said we players should not worry about it, we just can dive as much as we want and we won't drown. Every character can dive, not just our traveler, so they really made animations for every character and that is amazing. The diving gameplay will focus on smooth movement and camera controls as well as no big fights because no skills work on the water. It would have been a bit difficult if you think about all the elemental reactions, animation and stuff as well that fighting underwater would be a lot like slower as we know from other games, so they decided not to implement that. Special sea creatures will be helpful for getting some shields and stuff down there and it feels more like you have to defend yourself rather than real battles. A big change will be the new arc system, which is Fontaine exclusive. So Fontaine characters have a different vision than others and this will be necessary for some of the new open world gameplay mechanics. This new Ushia and Pneuma named energy will be used for gameplay mechanics which is a reason why we get Lynette for free, as it seems that some enemies even have shields related to those new elements, so I guess it just makes sense that we have one character that will work with this new gameplay stuff. Fontaine will be quite big, but it is kinda split into about 50% overworld and 50% underwater gameplay. So we will get to Fontaine just after the Archon quest of Wenty, and there will also be a teleporter waypoint unlocked immediately nearby for everyone, so we will all be able to go there as soon as version 4.0 is released. There's also a funny new boss fight, this fire crab, which does look really cool and it is probably used for Lionese ascension materials. Now there's also a total of 12 new weapons to pull, craft or finally, as well, new battle pass weapons. So we will be able to choose from the old and the new ones in the battle pass. With the update, there will be two new artifact sets to farm, as well as 10 old artifact sets coming to the strong box, like emblem, pale flame and tenacity for example, which is very nice. As usual, there's also some new events, which will give us some more primos, materials like a crown and a free bannet. There's something like a robot minigame, photo challenges like Pokemon Snap, collecting flowers in the wildlife and fighting for sure. The most important quality of life improvements are for the minimap and world map, which will change into different layers, so it will be easier to use, especially in places like the deserts and now with Fontaine as well. And now this feature will give us new character animations for our team screen, which is actually looking super fluffing cool. So I can't wait to try it out myself at August 16th when Fontaine is finally dropping. So what are you the most excited about? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay fluffy.